live on Twitch. And we are live on SensorTube. Let me turn off the volume there. And Rumble should be kicking in soonish. Uh, and we got uh, the lapel mic going as well. Nice, nice. Mm, and we'll just wait up for a rumble to kick in. I hope everyone's having a fantastic, fantastic uh, Monday morning. Salute. <sighs> amazing times, amazing times. And uh, no, we're still waiting for a rumble to kick in. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. We got Sal and Via just chilling, chilling on the catio. And there is Rumble kicked in. I'm just going to mute that guy. And that guy is muted. And that guy is muted. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. A steel Lord of Iron. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Salute, salute. 14 months in a row. Salutations. Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? Yo, Chicho, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Random Moose Brains, salutations, salutations. Lord of Iron, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. Let me bring up the sensor to chat as well. Uh, gang, I'm Chicho. Today is Monday morning, 10 a.m., December 18th, 2023. And what a year, what a year, what a year it has been, right? Amazing times, amazing times, to say the least. Um, for this stream, it's just an open discussion. I haven't done a stream for a couple of weeks. I was busy visiting family, got some pastries from mom. We got some baklava, got some berok, Armenian pastry, and got some nazuk in the back. Let me show you this. Amazing stuff. And I know how to make all of these. And at some point we will do our cooking streams where we're doing pastries okay the best baklava you've ever eaten uh the best little mini cake you've ever eaten and if you know armenian pastry this is the best nazuk you've ever eaten and i can make all of these they're absolutely amazing right we used to have a farmer's market with the family where we sold all three of these we would sell out of the, sell out of the baklava every week okay we might have some of these left and the nazuks uh sometimes we sold out sometimes we don't no we didn't no almond cookie this time no almond cookie this time <laughs> i'll show you this though check, check out the this is the nazuk it's layered pastry It's super yummy. So good. So good. So good. So good. Intrepid drums. Hey, Chicho. Haven't been in the chat in a while. Glad to be here. Glad to have you. Glad to have you, Intrepid. Hope you're doing well. Um, Lord of Iron. What's block level made from? Um, Filo pastry. Okay, so it's made from filo pastry. Usually walnuts. We, we this one's walnuts, no almonds. Okay. It's got um, butter. You, um, what do you call it? With a with a paintbrush, cooker's brush, or whatever you call it, you put butter between the filo pastries, and inside it's. Um, I gotta look at my recipe. I haven't done it for a while. Walnuts, sugar, um, something else. I forget what it is. Walnut sugar. Uh, I forget what it is. Okay. And then, well, the other th stuff is uh, usually bok level that you buy outside, right? It's made with sugar only, if you're lucky. Usually it's uh, corn syrup, right? We make ours with half of it honey, the honey that you saw honey and sugar right and you liquefy it and then once you layer the stuff on you pour the honey and uh, liquid honey sugar on top of this thing and it sinks in it's absolutely amazing 
I don't want to get my hands too sticky, so I'm going to do this the dangerous way. I'm going to take a bite out of this. All right? So good. Rose water. Phenomenal. The best baklava you've ever had. And you need tea with it. Blue, not purple salutations on Twitch. Love the mini. Thank you. Keeps my head warm. <laughs> Lonely piggy. Is this breakfast or just a snack? You know what? Uh, last week I was visiting family. And since I came back, I brought a whole bunch of these. Uh, <laughs> I've been eating a lot of these for breakfast. <laughs> right? So it's been... I already had breakfast. I had, I had heavy breakfast uh, butter and honey and toast and stuff like this and I already had some of this for breakfast and I'm <laughs> having it again because it's absolutely phenomenal it's absolutely phenomenal twice cooked pork salutation salutations temporary peace uh, I don't know what that means oh my god First word is butter. First word is butter. Indeed. Lions, how are you doing? Long time, long time. Hope you're doing well, brother. Um, Salb and in I-85. Salbalin. Happy <laughs> Chicho, happy Monday. Hope you've been good, brother. Doing good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Spencer on sensor tube. Hey, Chicho and all. Salutations, salutations. If it's good, eat it. That's my motto. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Lord of Iron. I'm the same way with my mom's cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. It's there. You got to eat it. You got to do it. And you take the warranty in your mouth. After something sweet like that, you go... Absolutely phenomenal. Sal Bandini. Sal Bandini. Sal Bandini 85. Sal Bandini 85. Thank you very much for uh, directing me. <laughs> Difficult to read. Sal Bandini. Sal Bandini. I'm assuming you're Italian. Yeah? Is that what it is? Salbandini, I like it. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a tally right at the beginning. What are we in? Uh, we're eight minutes in. We got seven people on sensor two. What do we got on uh, Twitch? We got twenty three people on Twitch, and we got four people on Rumble. Salutations, everyone! I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. We'll see where we end up with the views and whatnot. Old man Nacho, what's up, Chicho? Doing good, doing good. Or what's going on, Chicho? Eating pastries and we got a comic book. I'll give you one guess. What do you think it is? <laughs> Cheryl, how are you doing? Good morning, good morning. They just send off the the little ones, or not even little anymore. The the big ones off away. <laughs> this is Cheryl time now. <laughs> are they are are they gone? Awesome, awesome. Gang, um, I hope you have a fantastic... Um, I hope you had a fantastic weekend. I hope you're going to have a fantastic week. And what a what a ride it's been, right? Yeah, school this week. Good, good, good. Last week before uh, the break, right? Last week before the break. Oh, Elder God's heading home tomorrow. Nice, nice. I've, I did my visit early. I did my visit early. Now, I'm chill uh, at home for the holidays and live stream, right? And do work and do writing. Astro Sweet on Rumble. Salutations. Pastries. Did you bring enough for everyone? <laughs> no. 
but I've been eating enough for everyone. <laughs> like, seriously, I've eaten, I had a big bag of nazu, like here. This is this is the tobacco I, I brought you guys to show you. I, I had a big bag of like this of nozooks. I came back with like this much, like thick. Now it's down to like this much in five days, <laughs> not even. <laughs> right. So I've been going pretty crazy on it. I've been going pretty crazy on it. And by, by the way, gang, here, let me show you this. I'm going to give you a little update. Okay, let me give you a little update. Old man nachos. I just uh, finished my 94th uh, shift in a row. Wow. Ex except for Thanksgiving. 94 shifts in a row. You're making the tax man a lot of money. You're making the tax man a lot of money. Uh, remember the tobacco that we harvested? So we got one bag like this, right? One bag like this. Okay. Another bag like this. Oop. All right. Another bag like this. This bag is more full than this one, of course, right? Uh, and then we got we got one jar, right? And yeah, another jar, right? Check this out. Like, look at this leaf amazing for blunts right so there's not nice leaves like this right little blunts and whatnot so the little leaves you can use for that and the big leaves of course right amazing smells like chocolatey smells like chocolatey right and harvested seed harvested enough seed way more than enough right so just letting them dry and then once they're fully dry then they are pretty much fully dry i'm gonna put them in a like a jar close it up and this is enough seed for multiple seasons of growing and if you want to see what the tobacco seed looks like let me show you so all the seeds are in these are the are in these right these little pods right and then right they're little guys right see it each one of those can be a tobacco plant take a look i don't want it to spill and go into the on the computer right they're like little guys right see it so that's the tobacco seeds like that's enough for one season right and these seeds once you have seeds they keep forever well within reason forever right uh, store them properly uh, so lots of seeds i have seeds from previous years as well uh, so it's always good to have uh, retain certain amount of seeds um, okay that's the tobacco right tobacco and lettuce seeds very similar yeah yeah i think so i think so uh on rumble astro suite on twitch jose hey chicho glad you're here on sensor 2 just want to say you've been an inspiration for me for about um years now cheers brother cheers jose and thank you very much for the kind words <laughs> the inspiration of eating pastries <laughs> right oh uh, fun 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 uh da, 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 da oh my god i just got a message from sensor tube telling me my responsibilities as a mod on this stream first time ever nice <laughs> start censoring no don't <laughs> tiny tiny little seeds gerald tiny little seeds uh lord of iron would you ever roll your own cigar uh would i ever roll my own cigar I would have to the, the tobacco would have to be cured properly maybe someday i do definitely at some point we want to buy a fair you know large land and grow uh, you know be mini farmers enough for our own thing our own supply to a certain degree our own food or as much as we can and definitely the plan is to grow lots of tobacco right because it's a it's a 
what do you call it uh mon not, not a money crop uh cash crop is a cash crop and it could be used for trading barter and whatnot amazing gift right so if i can cure it properly for sure for sure ryan and rumble hope everyone's relaxing and enjoying this season to the fullest indeed good morning good morning good morning good morning uh lark bark on sensor tube hello you all and what's up chicho salutations salutations esoteric 33 nice nice sweater bro thank you i got two of these <laughs> cozy <laughs> cozy cozy let me show you something else an update we made the honey garlic stuff right and this is the first time i was making it so we got two two jars here right here's one here's another one right one of them this one is check this out this one is garlic ginger and turmeric okay for both of these next time we're going to do smaller jars and i'm going to use more garlic note to ourselves right one thing that happens is the garlic at the bottom that we put they've been making their way to the top right and they've been sitting on the top so what i ended up doing I ended up flipping these upside down right so i did this okay and that's the reason why the garlic is going up right now one thing you have to do with these is burp them right because pressure builds up and because it was sitting upside down i wasn't able to burp them and you can see there's a little bit of tension in the lid right and i opened it up a little bit <laughs> just before the stream started and it went Psst. but then i stopped it because i want to um uh, let you guys hear it i don't know if there's any more gas left in it but let's check it out ready the microphone's right here okay. did you hear it and as soon as i do that there's an aroma of garlic and honey like wow strong right so garlic and honey aroma so okay i'm not going to open this up because there's because there's honey on the lid right so i don't want to get all sticky okay so good idea to flip it to get the garlic going up but then you have to reflip it and let it settle a little bit gas it out because the pressure was building on the lid right why am i pointing this out because 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 <laughs> astro sweet on rumble always more garlic <laughs> never enough garlic yeah because we flipped it for this guy as well right but check out what happened with the oh it was a little bit of leakage check out what happened here right the lid punctured opened up so when this thing was sitting upside down and i noticed it this morning when it was sitting upside down because i was going to bring it show it to you guys i lifted it up and my hand got all sticky and i looked on the counter and we lost a little bit of honey leaking down onto the counter right so because we weren't able to burp it and maybe the pressure built up too much it opened up the lid a little bit to let the pressure out and the garlic was actually further down here so basically what we wanted to do was flipping it to make the garlic go through ooh, up and down that way the garlic aroma smell you know encompasses all of the honey right um smells amazing you can see they got a little bit of stickiness on me okay so heads up next time fill it up with more garlic load it up with honey because the garlic is going to rise to the top and um, keep on burping it so the lid doesn't get um, you know doesn't open up because i i will be we got a garbage can <laughs> i will be changing the lid for this okay so that's the update i'm just going to wet my napkin a little bit and wash my sticky hand because i don't want to get sticky honey garlicky honey all over the place right um so that's a heads up uh, next time more garlic smaller jars uh loaded up with honey that way we don't have to flip it okay uh we can mix it maybe if the too much of the garlic uh rises up to the top and just keep on burping and letting it f uh, ferment okay uh that's the update on the garlic I'm gonna get caught up with the uh, with the chat. 
uh, Ryan on Rumble. I've uh, been ro rolling any good uh, blunts lately. I did another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, super good. Super good. A lot of this year's outdoor harvest is finish, uh, finishing curing right about now, I imagine. Love cannabis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harvested. We harvested all the cannabis. Oh, I didn't bring the cannabis over, but we showed it. Harvested all the cannabis. The tobacco is harvested. Basically, our garden's done. All right. We still have some uh, parsley, cilantro left over, some kale, some uh, charred greens, uh, just random stuff, right? That we're not really harvesting. We're using a little bit. Uh, Sun in Leo 98. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Salutations, salutations. Welcome to our live stream. Um, so that's the that's where we are with that. Give us a wipe, <laughs> get honey everywhere, <laughs> honey garlic everywhere, right? Uh, we have planted asterisk, we have planted 74 killer shish nuck spicy garlic for next year nice can't wait we have we still haven't done the garlic we missed the garlic again pooper scooper eh pooper scooper pooper scooper esoteric my korean wife uh, make garlic uh honey all the time bro nice nice korean food is awesome out of the asian food um out of the let's say uh thai uh japanese korean chinese um and some of the other uh, foods in that region, Vietnamese and stuff like this, I like Korean the most uh, with kimchi, bulgogi, kalbi, um, amazing stuff. Koreans eat well. Prime one collector on sensor tube. Hey, hello, Chicho. How do you see the election of 2024 in the uh, United States playing out? Um, okay, I'll, I'll answer that. Uh, garlic honey sounds delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lark Park says, I love Korean food. It's the best. It's the best. Esoteric. She even grows her own cabbage for homemade kimchi. Oh, can I come over? <laughs> can I come over? Nice, nice, nice. Delicious. Da, 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 da. Uh, just on Twitch, uh, old man nachos. I learned that honey can be used for wounds. Honey is amazing. Honey is amazing. I've heard that as well. I haven't uh, tried it out. And yogurt. Yogurt for burns, I think yogurt for burns esoteric on sensor tube you're always welcome bro thank you very much <laughs> awesome real xenomorph salutations someone mentioned baklava oh i love that during all this yeah for sure homemade baklava my mom's pastries check it out i just took a bite out of that one took a bite out of the nazuk and this is our perok right amazing baklava the best baklava Ever you'll eat uh, I know how to make this we will make it that's my bite this is gonna focus I don't know there you go Take a look. Right. Uh, pastries and the nozzle is phenomenal right. the nozzle is phenomenal da, 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 da. lonely piggy spicy Korean fried chicken hell yes hell yes <laughs> mustard for buns lonely piggy chicho community pot like when <laughs> at some point we do a real xenomorph wow you you also make those that's amazing yeah 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 for sure i know how to make these these my mom made these my mom made these my mom made right we've got to do a pot like at, at some point in our lives we're gonna do a we're gonna do a chichonian pot luck okay sound good we do we do let's decentralize everything and see where it takes us right i go into food coma so quickly big it says uh gang uh regarding the 24 prime one collector on sensor tube asked uh this is the question hey hello chicho how do you see the election of 2024 in the united states playing out um Trump should win if he doesn't get assassinated or we don't see some kind of Epstein video being released. Is it going to be a deep fake? Is it going to be AI generated uh, Epstein video or is it going to be real? I doubt if it will be real if there is something like that released. Um, he might get assassinated. Okay. Um, and 
one of the reasons I'm saying that is because uh, there's civil war going on between the ruling parties in the Western world, not as much in Europe, but very much so in the United States of how the direction they want to go in. There are certain things that they're identical in regarding one of them being support of Israel, which is a huge, huge, huge deal, right? But there are other things that are not, uh, they don't see eye to eye, right? And Biden has decided to become the war president, and he is, the Democrats have been for a long time, right? Um, so the, the Democrats, the Bidens are betting on uh, the incumbent, uh, the war president have, have always won in the United States, right? So they're accelerating the war agenda, right? So that Biden will be reelected. If everything's fair uh, on the up and up, there's absolutely no way the Democrats, Biden, or anyone else they run will get elected. You would have to be the lowest IQ mofo in the world to vote for these clowns. You, you, you. Th th there's nothing else you could be, right? Same with Canada. You have to be some of the lowest IQ mofos in Canada, in the world, to vote for the World Economic Forum puppets that are ruling our our countries right now, right? So, if if it's even remotely fair, right, then Trump should win. What happens after he wins is a different game. If he gets assassinated uh, before uh, he wins, then uh, it's a free for all, right? It's a free for all. We see, we see. That's my take of what's going to happen uh, in 2024. And 2024 is going to be an insane effing year. 2020, this year was crazy, 2023. This is the beginning, right? 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 all the way building up to agenda 2030 is going to become more and more intense more and more draconian if the citizens of western world do not prevent these psychopaths from doing what they have planned on doing and what they have planned on doing they've been outright just saying what they want you to do right they want you to eat bugs they don't want you to own anything they want you to shut up if you're not happy and pretend that you are happy they want to control your finances your car where you can travel your food your they want to know everything there is to know about you that's the agenda they, this isn't <laughs> this, this this is what they've been telling you right anybody that doesn't think that's the agenda they got their heads up, you know, their own ass because they gotta bend really far not to even listen to that, <laughs> right? Uh, so that's the agenda. That's the agenda. V Lati. Salutations, V Lati. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to our live stream. Welcome to our live stream, Astro Astro Sweet on Rumble. Do you think the Republican Party actually let Trump run in their party? No, I think they're being forced to let him run. Okay, I, I don't think the Republicans can stop him from representing the the Republicans. Astro Sweet, I'm concerned regarding uh, Pierre Paul Levy past connection with WF. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I can tell you for for me in Canada uh, I'm gonna be voting Maxine Bernier the People's Party of Canada because the People's Party of Canada Maxine Bernier got arrested to keep our freedom in Canada he got arrested for those of us that were being demonized that were being persecuted he stood up against tyranny he has my vote for life okay it, that's it uh, I know there are certain people uh, you will almost have no choice but to vote for Pierre Polivier because it's uh, uh, what do you call it? it's 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 a riding where it might get sketchy you know it's it's gonna be close between the NDP the Liberals they're the same shit and the conservatives in that case sure 
I guess you could vote uh, for uh, the conservatives, Pierre Paul Levier, but uh, uh, for me, Maxine Bernier, I'm a loyal. Uh, when someone has my trust, my loyalty, they have it for life until they break it. And Maxine Bernier proved to me and to anyone that understands anything about liberty, about uh, bodily autonomy, about informed consent, about the Nuremberg Code, about human rights. Uh, Maxine Bernier is your representative. Uh, there is no one else in Canada. Right? That's the way I see it. Go purple, Astro Sweet. I'm just going to get caught up with the chat on uh, ba -ba 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 on uh, Twitch. Uh, I go into Fukuoka. Elder God, Europe is a growing right wing roots all over the place. Yeah, yeah. But they still don't have the power yet. Let's see how and when they obtain the power and what they do with it. Right? Lonely Piggy. There's been two movies released recently. I forgot the names right now, but people are saying both are the hidden telling us um, what is uh, to come. Civil War, Death, and we wonder why someone like Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, yeah. I actually watched uh, uh, Leave the World Behind last night. Just because I didn't want to watch it because I know Obama and stuff was was involved, but I know the director was the guy who made uh, Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot, the first, uh, all the seasons were great except the last season. It got taken over, right? Uh, so I wasn't too excited about it, but I watched it specifically for the stream, right? And there's a lot to it. One of the connections that I made personally that a lot of people I haven't I haven't even heard this connection being made like it hasn't come up everyone's making the connection about cash about cyber attack about civil war and all this jazz but one of the connections they didn't i haven't heard anyone make it which is the friends connection they make the friends connection with the last one but they didn't make the finish friends connection with one of the friends people dying recently right dying recently in his hot tub right of what did they come out and say it was it wasn't the injection <laughs> right? whatever it was it wasn't that right so no one's talking about what the implications of that are with the last one uh leave the world behind uh and the friends guy in real life i forget his name uh dying and and all that jazz um i, I have my own take regarding the show uh it was it, it was whatever right oh god i will own their heads and i will be happy <laughs> lord of iron uh when i was working uh for the military industrial complex a lot of the folks on various bases said that um live civil war is a matter of time yeah yeah for sure indeed matthew perry thank you very much uh astro suite uh, ketamine that's what it was they say it was ketamine right <laughs> he sure wasn't associated with with you know something more like way more dangerous that people have injected themselves with multiple times you know boosted up the yin yang wearing a shirt saying i am up to date with my boosters right it has nothing to do with that okay corner <laughs> And Epstein killed himself. Yeah. Uh, Real uh, Xenomorph. Meanwhile, uh, Javier devalued peso by 54%. And what the uh, uh, remark from Bitshoot said about su uh, suppressed riots, it's concerning. 100%. This is, gang, uh, Real Xenomorph is brought up something which is very important. Very important. Right? Very important. This connects up to what the uh, remark uh, the videos he was putting out because he's just uh javier is just a puppet but it also connects up with what cliff high has been saying and other people have been saying as well right which is basically the reason why our world is the way it is is because the powers that be that control the money supply have been able to buy people off right if they haven't been able to buy them off they blackmail them Hell, Ella, epstein right especially the higher ups right but the majority of people they don't really blackmail because they people are willing to sell their souls for money 
right so they've been buying people off left and right a lot of people don't even know they've been bought off because all they are is government bureaucrats they're pencil pushers so they're pencil pushers sitting there allowing centralized power to destroy societies right and they've been getting paid well they've been getting uh what do you call it benefits they've been getting retirement plan they've been getting you know a cozy chair a computer they get nice coffee breaks they get vacation pay they get they get the dental they get they get all this jazz right taxpayer dime right you slave fucking work because the bureaucrat needs to get paid now what just happened in Argentina right with the peso being devalued more than 50% it means those bureaucrats that were sitting pretty pretty right I work for the government I've known I know people in Canada that specifically want to work the, the they they apply to work for government every year and when they get a government job that's who they are they're government lackeys right i know so many people like this that their their dream is to get a government job so they get good money good benefits and they're set for life right fuck them because what just happened in argentina javier however you pronounce his name he devalued the currency 50 percent. so the salary that these government employees were getting right doesn't buy as much as it used to the day before specifically it only buys a half less than half of what it did the day before so their cozy jobs and their pensions and all this jazz just went up in fucking flames too bad you little clowns you've been pushing the globalist agenda on society for so long and you just got burned right so what cliff high has been saying which is we will see it is bureaucracies around the globe are going to in the western world right or and in the global majority they're going to start collapsing because people that work in government right when their money gets devalued in canada you're seeing it with inflation we haven't had that devaluation happen yet but some people that are working in government they gave themselves a nice pay rise pay raise right in canada the government the bureaucrats the bureaucracy in canada is insane right so government employees they gave themselves a pay raise right the health minister in bc makes two hundred sixty thousand dollars a year and she gave herself the government gave herself a hundred forty thousand dollars bonus last year right so the government employee one of the top ones was making four hundred thousand dollars a year right meanwhile firing nurses firing doctors firing healthcare professionals right but the majority of the people that have been keeping this draconian system going they're about to get a major pay cut in Argentina it was more than 50 percent that's coming for everybody else right so how is that going to play out in our societies are people still going to say you know what I'm still going to go to work for the government the draconian centralized power even though my salary is half and I can't pay my mortgage and I can't pay my rent and I can't pay and buy my food or am I going to go into the underground or I'm going to go find something better to do to make more money am I going to start buying things fixing them selling them am I going to do a have a second job am I going to put any effort into the government job that I have when I go to work am I really going to be doing the government pencil pushing eight hours a day five days a week or am I going to just show up punching my clock let them pay me whatever they're going to pay me and I'm going to do something else to raise some money, right? That's what's about to happen in Argentina and in many other parts of the world. Very important, very important. Ronnie, salutations. Hope you're doing well. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publishing journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity. Gang something that we desperately desperately need in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or countless resources available online right ronnie uh watch uh streak reached ronnie 90 is currently on a three st stream streak <laughs> someone just uh, dropped something in the kitchen 
da, da, da. Cheryl saw the first Kennedy sign the other day. Kennedy Kennedy became a clown as soon as he went all in on Israel. Right. Too bad. Too bad. Da, da, da. That's wonderful. I've always wanted to grow my own fruits and vegetables. On sensor two, pa pa pa. Alex Smith on sensor two. Hey Chicho, I have a question. Have you seen a calm and kind person? But the moment uh, you talk about politics, you show your own face. What is this? What? Hey Chicho, I have a question. You seem like oh Alex, are you are you the one that's uh, are you from Israel? Are you the one? Uh, why is that? Politics, you show. Uh, you, you're from Israel, right? You've been commenting on sensor two. Uh, Alex, when you see genocide taking place, you must speak up. Okay, do not, do not, do not sell your soul to the devil. Okay, if you see genocide taking place, okay, stand the right side of history. Elder God replies, politics is a serious issue, it requires serious rhetoric. Indeed, indeed. Keldon Alex, he refers good old internet information over mainstream. <laughs> good afternoon, Fleur, uh, uh, Flower Child. How are you doing? Salutations, Keldon. I like listening to Chicho. I got it, got in for the ASMR and comic comic calls. The other topics, though, wow, 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 wow. Uh, da, 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 da. Cheryl, you going Kennedy? Uh, if you want if anything it's almost anything better than biden's right almost anything better than biden's no just I israel but in general uh, alex not just israel but in general you have strong opinion regarding politics i've i know my politics i know my geopolitics alex i've been writing about geopolitics for 20 years check out my previous site i had articles that were got political articles that were on the front page of dig stumble and read it Mul multiple years my articles were on the front page on the top hits on world politics news politics conspiracy right on reddit before they prevented people from uh linking our articles from blogs you have to be from accredited media to, <laughs> to be on the top of uh reddit posts in politics news world politics geopolitics or anything like this right so Unless you were your government propagandist, you barely made it to the front page of social main social media platforms. A lot of the stuff that I wrote about has become true, right? For example, two years ago, we started talking about Russia, Ukraine, right off the bat, uh, right off the bat, I thought this is insane. This was an unnecessary war. Ukraine was going to lose it, lose so much, so many, so much death and destruction. Russia's Russia's going to uh, destroy NATO stuff like, and people, people even right now are saying, "Oh, Russia's losing." I'm like, what part of it done? Like the war is already done. Don't people understand? Back then, you should have seen it. People are like, "Chicho, you're crazy. You're a Putin puppet. You're this. You're this. You're this. Ukraine's gonna win. NATO's gonna win. Russia's gonna be annihilated. Russia's gonna be balkanized. Russia's gonna... You're crazy." I'm like, "Look, people, you guys don't understand what's going on here, man. Right? Blah 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 blah. Right? Two years later, oh gee, what? Right? So, for example, Alex, in the mid 2000s." In 2005, six, and seven, I was writing about a major economic collapse that is about to happen, all the way to 2008. And then the market crashes, economic collapse, people, blah, they're printing money up. I was one of the people that predicted, right, warned people about the collapse of the economy, the 2008 financial crisis, they call it, the biggest scam in human history until three years ago, right? People were like, oh, Chicho, you don't know what you're talking about. The economy is booming, booming, booming party. <laughs> I was like, you guys are idiots, <laughs> right? When it's said and done, oh, Chicho, you were right. Okay, Alex, look at my history. That's it. Okay. Uh, Alex, no one is winning. Both Russia and Ukraine are losing. Why well, choose a side between? It's not choosing a side. It's looking at a situation and saying oh this side is winning it's like watching a soccer game football game chelsea is kicking the shit out of manchester united let's assume that's what's happening elder god likes chelsea right 
Chelsea, seven. Manchester United, one. I come along and say, Chelsea's winning. You come along and say, why are you choosing a side? And I turn to you and say, what? <laughs> no, Alex, human lives are not a game, right? Ukraine has lost 400,000 to 500,000 people dead, right? Russia, 50,000 dead. This war, 100%, the responsibility of the Western world. Minsk one, Minsk two, they signed the peace treaty agreement in Turkey a month into the conflict. They armed Ukraine, trained Ukraine, brought in the neo Nazis. No, Alex, I was one of the ones that was saying this is the most unnecessary war in human history that I know of, right? That I know of. People are like, no, there are other unnecessary wars. I'm like, no, man, you guys have no idea, right? The 2014 coup. Okay, the stupid EU trying to force Ukraine to sign a trade agreement with the EU. At the same time, their 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 stipulation was, oh, Ukraine, you can sign the trade agreement with us. They're like, okay, great, but you have to destroy your trade agreement with Russia. And they're like, what? This is before two, uh, 2014 coup, right? Why should I? Why should I? If I if I'm a person, I've been doing business with someone for decades. And then you come along and say, hey, you want to do business? I say, yeah, sure, let's do business. And you turn to me and say, oh, yeah, the only way I'll do business with you is if you if you get rid of that uh, customer. And you're like, what? What are you talking about? Man? That customer is my main customer. I got a gas pipeline coming through my country from that customer feeding you with energy. And you want me you want me to kill my agree trade agreements with them? What are you stupid? Right? That's what Ukraine told them. That's what Armenia told the EU when they try to force that shit down their Armenia's throat before they put the puppet in power. Right? And the puppet in power, what did they do? Same shit that Ukraine did. They lost a shitload of territory and a shitload of people to a fucking scam. Right? Look at my look at my site. Look, go into Armenia, Ukraine. Right? There's an article I wrote regarding that trade agreement, Alex. Educate yourself. Otherwise, you're just a pawn. You're just a tool. You're, 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 you're nothing but just, just an uninformed cannon fodder. And when they come calling for you, you will sign up. You will give up, give up your life for their agenda. So many fools did that, right? Crazy. Sleepy waves. How you doing? I was looking at the chat. Free Assange. Jose says. We can't do anything. We are not politicians. It is uh, no Alex. We could do everything. You are way more powerful than what they, what you think, right? Da, 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 da. I'm checking out the chat on da, 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 Twitch. Twitch. Putin said betrayal can't be forgiven. I agree with Putin. Betrayal cannot be forgiven. Loyalty deserves everything that's why i say maxine bernie in canada showed his loyalty to canadians right and he will always have my vote i for me i'm loyal right i i i'm old school right when someone sh proves to me that they deserve my loyalty they have it for life right unless they betray right crack on sensor to what are we doing afternoon listening in a while i'm working around the house nice crack crack comic book call comic book call comic book call we can do a comic book call we can do a comic book call should we do a comic book call <laughs> goofy effects on twitch i watched it and like it obama produced this movie which is weird yeah 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 no i didn't mind this post-apocalyptic movie right uh, danger why can't life just be easy uh, life can be easy but it is complicated right um, actually no let's rephrase it life is not easy it's simple uh, danger I would say life is simple but it's not easy life is hard ah yes crack says comic book all what is your take on Alex Jones he should be allowed to speak he's spe he's spoken a lot of truth and Alex Jones is what they used 
to deplatform everyone and a lot a lot of woke ass fools supported it i knew some of them right i called them out when they said oh alex jones should be deplatformed i called them fascists and clowns low iq clowns at that right sal <laughs> oh my god did you hear sal <laughs> oh that tumbling down <laughs> wait what about kennedy and israel oh cheryl uh, kennedy supports israel full on he says he says israel has the right to do whatever he's doing and right to defend itself and and all that jazz right he, he's all in he's all in you guys are getting into the <laughs> sal bandini <laughs> hilarious temporary please hey chicho any uh boycotting in your area um boycotting i'm not sure in what regard in what regard uh the bds is as far as I, I support bds man i support bds not i don't know what the heck i'm, I'm going to do yeah no probably not yeah cheryl uh, if i was american I'd, I'd i'd vote trump end of story right right anybody associated with democrats is a clown trump is a clown but as he's less of a clown than the other one so vote for the lesser of two evils right he he proved in four years he didn't start any hot wars he did sanctions that's sort of like war look at the biden look at the democrats holy shite man on the brink of nuclear war in three damn years you have to be a fool fool to <laughs> it's crazy temporary peace tell tell buddy there's a lot of zeal sellouts uh contest creators for him to indulge in yeah zio yeah 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 cheryl keeping my fingers crossed for the green or possibly libertarian not holding my breath for the latter but we'll see yeah the greens um the, the, uh, jill scott is running for the greens again i like jill scott but i don't like the greens uh the libertarian i don't know the libertarian candidate right okay i'm gonna get caught up on the chat on uh twitch ukrainian men who refuse to go to the front line to fight have been jailed for six months and on the final day of incarceration they're grabbed at night and sent to the war zone yeah they're sending pregnant women to the war zone who the fuck supports that shit temporary peace they're now giving ukraine ukraine credit and holding millions of acres of farmland as collateral yeah good luck uh trying to try to uh you know collect on that farmland right elder god chicho wrong part of london it's arsenal fc for me ah arsenal sorry arsenal arsenal seven manchester united one <laughs> why are you picking a side elder god why are you picking a side what the f reels in what yeah eu is trying to start negotiations with ukraine to enter eu it's such a circus yeah yeah crazy blackrock eating up the bread basket blackrock won't blackrock's not gonna uh collect on that that's that's a pipe dream woke ass fools woke ass fools slap them cheryl even i think alex jones should be allowed to speak just far far away from me <laughs> loud he's loud oh my god i grew up in the uh, 80s so my thoughts on life uh, mercy is for the weak we don't quote mercy is for the weak we do not train to be merciful here a man faces you he is enemy and enemy deserves no mercy and quote chicho you're looking like uh, father christmas nice ho 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 cheryl there are so many other quality conservative uh, options other than trump he's way uh to uh polemic polemic i don't know as far as the republicans go he's he's the only candidate right <laughs> Bar fact, republicans are lizards mega 2024 fuck blackrock indeed uh so minority rules gotcha no minority Plutorino salutations on Twitch. Hi, chat. Hi, Chicho. How are we? Uh, how are the uh, plants this winter? Plants, uh, I'm not growing any. Well, other than these guys, these guys, everything indoors is uh, doing fantastic. Doing fantastic. Um, I'm just going to go back to Sensor to read uh, the chat and keep my eye on the Twitch. 
I'm surprised how uh, drastic Alex Jones flipped to become such a Zyosa. There's a lot of people. Here, here's the thing. Look, regarding what's going on with Israel and Palestine and stuff like this, uh, I mentioned this before. Back in the late '80s, uh, mid '80s, mid '80s, mid '80s, mid '80s to late '80s, uh, I uh, I dabbled in the boarding and Christian movement, right? So I know that mentality. I know who they are, right? Uh, they have a huge infiltration from the Zionist movement, from the Zionist mindset. So they, the born again Christian evangelical movement, and I say evangelical. So I had a discussion with uh, someone on a gilded server um, where they said evangelical doesn't necessarily mean uh, born again, right? To me, evangelical born again, the the line between them is very very thin, right? Very thin, right? So I say evangelical born again, right? They have huge ties with the Zionist community. In their opinion, uh, Israel, uh, it, Jews are the chosen people, right? Because of Jesus Christ and all that jazz, right? So their whole idea is everybody goes to hell that doesn't, you know, is not born again, that doesn't take uh, Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and Son of God and stuff like this. Anybody that doesn't believe in that goes to hell except for the Jews because Jews are the chosen people to go to heaven too, right? For me, I always had a conflict in this when I was when I was deep in it because I don't believe in uh, chosen people. It just doesn't rhyme with me. We are all equal. That's what equality means to me. That what, That's what being human means to me, right? So that's their main issue so right now that this thing has happened a lot of the evangelical born again christian movement is putting their full support behind israel right very problematic very problematic one of the reasons it's problematic is because a lot of the evangelical christian movement not necessarily born again christian but christians stood up against tyranny in the western world when they try to roll out the COVID mandates, injections, and all that jazz. They chose bodily autonomy, informed consent, Nuremberg Code. They stood on the right side of history, but now they're standing on the wrong side of history because they're supporting genocide, right? I just had a discussion with someone uh, a couple of weeks ago, right, regarding this, and they were like, I fully support Israel. I go, well, uh, be careful because the evangelical born again Christian movement are their Armageddonists, right? They want to hear the trumpets blow and the world burn, right? Because in their opinion, they're not going to be on the world when it burns, right? The horsemen are going to come and they're going to call their uh, the people that, you know, have been born again. And they're going to go to heaven. And anyone that doesn't believe in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the non-Jews, they're all going to burn on earth, right? So I had a discussion with someone uh, a couple of weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, where they believe that uh, Armageddon is a good thing and they support Israel, fully support Israel, is because this is has been foretold in the prophecies and we're in the end times and this is the trumpets are going to blow and blah, 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 blah. Right? And I turn to them and go, listen, be careful because you're in conflict with your principles right now because you're saying you support genocide. Because genocide is going to bring about Armageddon so you can go to heaven. But how can you go to heaven if you support genocide? So I threw in a little, little planted a little seed where if this seed gets a little, gets some roots and starts looping in this person's brain, then he's going to short circuit a little bit, right? You're going to support genocide, go to heaven. What's going to happen? Chosen people, what? They're, they're committing genocide. They're going to have a little glitch, right? A lot of people don't want to deal with that glitch, right? I dealt with it when I was a teenager. Uh, as I, uh, this is a glitch. The glitch means there's serious problems in their ideology, ideology in their cult, right? So I pulled out pretty quick. Okay, not quick. It took a few years, right? But there's a glitch there, right? Because even back then, they were committing, committing genocide, right? And I don't, again, I don't believe in the chosen people, right? Uh, end of story okay so that's what's going on with um, with this whole thing with Alex Jones and some of the other people that have been speaking the truth 
because of the audience because of the money because of the of the consumer base or or the the core base there even trump right uh the republicans right they're tapping into those millions of people that are armageddonists that believe in this thing right and they're well funded right so from an economic perspective for them it's worthwhile pandering to that demographic to get some funds flowing in for me i couldn't give a rat's ass i ain't gonna pander to the genocide community or armageddonists or anything like this for me i'm an analyst at heart i love data i i'm a I'm a humanist if you I don't know that has connotations or something I believe in life liberty pursuit of happiness individual rights right your right to bodily autonomy I believe in standing on the right side of history I have broken multiple broken up multiple fights in my life because a wrong was being done I've even stepped in when there's like three people beating on a one person I step in and fucking stand the ground protect that one person right because it's wrong it's fucking wrong right do I, I don't stand there and go oh are you three Christians and is one of you a chosen person and is this person a Muslim oh in that case go on beat the shit out of this person I don't do that right I don't I don't I don't look at him and go oh you guys are black and that's the white person go ahead or you guys are white and that's the black person go ahead no man a lot of people are are lost in this stupid propaganda they've been brainwashed to a level that they pick a side based on religion color what someone eats and what someone doesn't eat no man when you see wrong speak up you're human right you are human if you do not speak up you're losing your humanity okay understand that I don't give a rat's ass if you think one side is the chosen people and the other side worships the devil right don't be low IQ okay don't be cannon fodder don't be a fool okay fucking crazy it's insane it's insane I lost a lot of chat going on that rant right it, it crack says it crack when you say none of the parties are working for us i agree with you except for the people's party in canada that's the only party that i know of in canada united states okay i don't know all the little parties in the united states but in canada maxine bernie and the people's party is working for canadians okay is working for canadians okay that that he proved that to us he proved that to us gang i missed a lot of chat my apologies if there's anything directed towards me please post it again okay please post it again uh, crack kashama swant in the u.s i don't know kashama swant that's a cool name though i don't know what that means crack says alex chicho do you think putin is wrong about uh anything regarding the ukraine invasion is he wrong about anything regarding the ukraine invasion is he wrong about anything regarding the ukraine invasion is he wrong about anything regarding the ukraine invasion i don't know his all of his views regarding the ukraine invasion um i, I you got to be more specific alex i don't know like is he wrong about anything regarding the ukraine invasion i don't like you, you got to narrow it down for me a little bit right like i don't know his action not views is he right is his invasion okay he's not invading ukraine okay like he, he never even intended russia never intended to invade ukraine right Russia for since 2014 was trying to get them to stop killing the Eastern Ukrainians, the Russian speaking Ukrainians. Got a live stream. Hey guys, Pontus salutations. Hope you're doing well. Crack. I hear you, Chicho. I stand by my comment. Okay. 
Okay. Parker Zeno, a uh, comic book uh, collector of 30 years and just picked up Love and Rockets. What are we? Oh, brother. I've been. Oh, Parker, I've been trying to get my hands on Love and Rockets number one. And it's not Love and Rockets number one and the first appearance. It, it was in another comic. I forget what it is. For a long time. It's just above my. Uh, my grade it's above my grade it's above my grade right or my finances my budget I wish I bought it years ago right love and rockets very good one of the greatest independent comic books ever published end of story <laughs> I bar I love watching you blow up people's narrative <laughs> hilarious hilarious should we do a count let's do a count before we get into comic book all what do we got what do we got we got 12 people on rumble salutations rumble we got 38 people on 39 people on twitch salutations twitch we got 35 people on sensor tube salutations sensor tube i hope you guys are doing well salute salute gang what's for lunch i'm gonna have more bottle about <laughs> No, no, let's have a little bit of barrack. I'm gonna have a little bit of barrack and then we're gonna do a comic book haul. Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of comic book haul. This is barrack. This is super delicious. Right. Mom pastries. Gorgeous salsas. Chicho, it looks like the war is over. And Alex says, which war? Uh, wars are just picking up. We're in the beginning stages of wars picking up. Not beginning, but you know what I mean. World War War Three. It's going to expand. But yeah, Ukraine is done. Um, Russia annihilated NATO. Barf bag, you ever seen the comic Army at Love? It's wonderful. No, I don't know Army at Love. Gang, Silver. I'm going to read one more comic before we get into comic book haul. Let's check it out. Silver. Right now, I'd like to uh, elect someone who can negotiate a better shipping import deal for Canada customers. Indeed, it is crazy to me that it costs more for me to receive an item from our land. Uh, our land neighbor usa yeah silver you're about to i'm about to blow your mind again regarding this package then it does to get something from across the friggin ocean on the other side of the world indeed crack army at love is great rick oh rick vidic so uh, uh i think oh rick vidic is really good vich vich vintage vintage uh Alex, you said that Ukraine killed Eastern Ukrainians and that justifies Russian invasion. But uh, I did not say that. Uh, but the deaths in this war exceed any killing done by Ukraine. So hold on a second. Hold on a second, Alex. Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying Eastern Ukraine. Okay, I'm going to read this because <laughs> this needs to be addressed, right? So Alex saying, Chicho, you said that Ukraine killed Eastern Ukrainians and that justifies Russian invasion. But the deaths in this war exceed any killings done by Ukraine. So you're saying this war is bad because the deaths in this war exceed the killings that Nazi Western Ukrainian puppet installed government coup, right? Dictators exceeds the number of people they were killing in Eastern Ukraine. So let me get this right. You come and punch me. And I say, please stop. You punch me again and I say, please stop. What? You come and punch my partner. I say, please stop. You punch my partner again. You punch me. You punch my partner. You go and punch my family. You do this for eight years. I say, Mofo, you fucking don't stop. I'm going to fucking destroy you. Right? And you keep on punching me. And then I come along. I grab you by the throat. I lift you up against the wall. I break your right arm. I break your left arm. I knee you in the fucking nuts. Destroy one of your balls. Cut off your dick. Fucking break your left leg. 
cut off your right leg and shove that right leg down the throat of the people that were telling you to punch me for eight fucking years right that's NATO and then I let you speak and you turn to me and say I only punched you for eight years and your family and I didn't cut off your arms break your arms cut off your leg and shove it down someone else's throat so I'm wrong because I retaliated to your fucking violence for eight years I turn to you and say now it's time to cut out your fucking tongue because you're too stupid to speak okay dumbasses dumbasses goofy on twitch are you techno optimistic been reading stuff about it chicho uh not technocrats unfortunately a lot of technology in the hands of technocrats okay so uh we'll see where that goes we'll see where that goes <laughs> all the god says first punch would be the guy's only punch in real life i agreed but putin was very patient very patient don't forget the u.s bio labs indeed don't forget FTX cryptos all right useful idiots Alagasius says useful idiots deserve no mercy I think everybody deserves mercy but at some point you have to defend yourself you have to defend yourself where do you read all this stuff BB on sensor tube um what stuff um, a lot of it I compiled on my site for the last 20 years right I've read a lot of articles uh, go to our gilded server go to our gilded server we post a lot of stuff on our gilded server and heavy topics specifically when it comes to geopolitics economics politics news world economic forum fascism you can find a lot of links there you can find a lot of links there yeah go to our gilded server bb last i checked sam buckman was headed for life in prison we'll see was he the only one where did those hundreds of billions of dollars go they went to killing a lot of ukrainians 400 500 thousand ukrainians dead All right that's fucking unbelievable man that didn't have to happen right that didn't have to happen bb i don't uh, know why israel is wrong i want to be on the right side of history uh, norman finkelstein start following i'm gonna spell it in on sensor tube chat norman i'm gonna misspell it Fin finkel cool stein something like this if you do a search for norman finkelstein start l listening to his lectures and reading his articles and stuff like this he's on substack he's on yeah he has a channel on sensor tube i believe uh but look at some of the other stuff uh and aaron mate aaron mate and max blumenthal max blumenthal Thought. again i'm spelling it wrong those are the three people you should follow just so you know bb all three are jewish okay all three are jewish norman finkelstein's parents were holocaust survivors aaron mate's grandparents were holocaust survivors they're all jewish so everything that you all the information that you're they're sharing with you some people that are hardcore Zionists will say they're anti-semitic but they're Jewish so there's a short circuit happening there somewhere right so it's not anti-semitic to criticize political um, actions by fanatical groups okay 
just so you know alex chicho regarding the analogy you said about punching how is that different than what israel is doing you kind of supported israeli genocide indirectly it's close comparison to what russia is no it's not no it's not again alex seriously you got to be you got to be effing kidding me if you think what's going on in russia ukraine is the same thing as what israel is doing to gaza are you are you you're short circuiting so bad that i think you're pooping your brains out right i, th I think it's just fried right look into the history of what took place right and you'll you'll figure it out uh <laughs> like it's insane what you just said it it's literally insane what you just said right it shows how much propaganda you believe in okay which is path pretty pathetic like really sad like so effing sad i i don't even know where to begin with you if you were one of my students where i was teaching you mathematics and you to told me that that uh, I mean, the analogy on it would be crazy. I can't, I, you know, if you told me that, uh, started talking gibberish and saying even numbers are masculine and odd numbers are 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 feminine and prime numbers are uh, gender neutral, I I look at you and go, what in the effing world are you talking about? Like, where do I begin with you? Like, oh exhausting exhausting oh yeah gang uh thanks elder god for the reminder i'm gonna be on the misty winston show tomorrow tuesday december 19th at 5 p.m eastern time so that makes it at 2 p.m my time okay so if you're used to uh being uh, on my time schedule it's 2 p.m my time i'm going to be on the misty winston show okay bitcoin is going up sleepy waves where do you uh see it going next um if it's not uh if it's not uh, if drastic measures are not taken to prevent it from rising it will break a hundred thousand okay that being said there's still danger of centralized power stepping in i'm against this but i uh, also against russia so no alex i'm sorry i can't deal with that right now it, it's too exhausting uh we we dealt with the ukraine part the the gaza part again uh, alex Norman Finkelstein, Aaron Maté, Max Blumenthal. Okay, that's where I can get you going. Jose, breaking news: Lobo has been spotted in Israel. <laughs> no, Lobo, Lobo, Lobo doesn't shoot ducks in a pond, right? Lobo is not weak like the IDF. Local Lobo detests weakness, right? And uh, Lobo would annihilate. Uh, anyone that was using children as uh, human shields innocent people as human shields that's what it would be right gang let's do a comic book call okay let me give you the lowdown of this comic book call let's do a comic book call let's do a comic book call let me give you the lowdown of this comic book hall comic book hall comic book hall let me give you the lowdown of this comic book hall yeah here this comic book hall cost 127 dollars and 50 cents okay us and then 39 dollars in shipping so it cost 166 dollars us okay which comes out to 237 38 dollars canadian okay now when it got to the border okay when it got to the border uh, it said the u.s value on it was value for duty was 100 
74 us which is crazy so this is what they charge me when it customs and this is the fourth package in a row that i'm paying customs duty on right so i'm gonna stop buying from the us it's just insane right in canada canada is bankrupt and it's trying to tax blood it's trying to get blood out of stone right so i ended up paying 14 dollars in duty 10 dollars in gst 13 dollars in pst and 10 dollars shipping and handling so for a hundred and no sorry 200 166 dollars us which ended up being 240 dollars canadian i ended up paying 46 dollars 47 dollars in tax and duty okay you guys do the math but that's fucking insane for a used item that's already been taxed multiple times right so i'm gonna stop buying from us sellers unless it's uh, less less than a 50 dollar value that way i don't get uh taxed up the yin yang for it because that's crazy that's absolutely insane and in the past where they used to tax maybe you know one out of five packages or something they're zapping everything now right which is insane to me which is insane all right newspaper <laughs> newspaper no oh yeah did you guys take a guess what it was did you guys take a guess what it was did you get take a guess what it was tax man from Monday Night Castle like cards cards even with this price it was a good deal and I'm gonna show you what we ended up getting lots of newspaper so the packaging is nice on it safe okay Drive more trading cards. Drive more trading cards. <laughs> Batman, oh my God, says Batman, please. I've been in the business of buying these cards, man. I've been in the business of buying these cards. So let me show you what we got. Let me show you what we got. When will it be Batman? When will it be Batman? Uh, well, let's see what the new year brings. Mons11 on Twitch. Hey, Chicho, here from uh, from YouTube to build up my points for the next auction. Awesome, awesome. Let me show you what cards we got. Let me show you what cards we got. We got cards here that we didn't have before. They're all Eclipse Comics. They're all Eclipse Comics. They're all Eclipse Comics. Uh, Ronnie, Chicho, I can't recall. Uh, do you do the auction after Christmas? No, no, no. We do it uh, before. We do it before. So we've we've done it this year. So it's another year wait. It's another year wait. It's another year wait. Uh, Keldon, uh, everyone has a political agenda. Even Chicho and uh, <laughs> and what and those people uh, that he watches. It is subjective, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I guess so. Ronnie, you missed it. Yeah, yeah. Ronnie, you missed it. How could you miss it? What? You missed it, Ronnie. You missed it. Nice. And we've seen. But I got a little bit more info to share regarding one of these things with you guys. November 24th will be special Trump auction. I reckon, yeah, possibly, possibly. It is going to be election season, so it'll be crazy. Right. So check this out, gang. Check this out. So we got drug war trading cards, right? We got drug war trading cards. There should be six, 36 cards here. And we've read these before. So let's do the count. Let's do the count, right? We've, we've done a full reading of these, gang, right? We've done a full reading of these. 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, 16 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah! Okay, drug war trading card is complete. Uh, what's the likelihood that AI will end us all? Uh, zero. That's my take. Uh, maybe not zero. Point zero 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 one percent Mazda Lemon. Ronnie, I feel you. I only had 650 points, Mazda says. So we've got drug war trading cards. We got the Bush League. We got more Bush League. George Bush. George Bush. Faye Dam. Hi, Chicho. Again, uh, that your geo background and not uh, being woke. What's your thoughts on climate change? Um, climate change occurs. Um, but their agenda, there should be 36 cards here as well. Uh, uh, the, the World Economic Forum uh, climate change then is just a tax grab that they they want to hose us more right it's a scam it's a scam right 36 35 34 33 32 31 30 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 3 4 2 1 yeah and um what do you call it basically i worked as a geophysicist for 10 years and it was all about pollution protect the environment for pollution contamination and they changed the word pollution to something else to something else to something else and now it's about they changed it to climate change for a while and pretty soon it's going to become war on carbon it is already war on carbon which is war on me and you because we're mainly carbon a huge chunk of us 36 cards bush league we're going to definitely read these as well right two streams so far and broke 1000 in points nice bush league trading cards very good very good very good what else what else oh we're definitely going to read these iran contra iran contra iran contra iran contra check it out there should be 36 cards in these as well so check it out check out the color difference right so card number 36 is brownish number 35 is not right so 36 35 34 33 32 31 30 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 nice 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 we'll definitely be reading these as well it, Oliver North is still around. He didn't. He didn't pass. Eddie G, salutations! Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Salute, salute. Been subscribed for five months. Salute, brother. Eddie G, five months sub, but uh, but way more than five years watching your content. Appreciate you, brother. Happy holidays to you and yours. Indeed, to everyone, gang. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Oh, recompile set maybe my guess is i don't know maybe these were sitting somewhere where there was heat coming from the bottom so it browned the bottom cards because i think card number the bottom cards for these as well yeah check this out this one too 36 again this is the Bush League one. Okay. And I think for the drug war trading card one too. Mm, less so because the drug war trading card had this in the bottom, right? So less so. Let's check out the other ones. We'll see. The tea is just Persian black tea. Uh, uh, Lord of Lord of Iron. Let's see this one. Uh, Elder God, I recommend starting a free Prime video trial and getting the free Twitch sub to increase channel points faster. Oh, cool. And then we got coup d'etat, the assassination of JFK. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I saw one of these sell for like, with shipping, it was like 30 bucks, right? Which is really good price. It was like, uh, for me, it was a global shipping program. But if you're in the States, I saw one of these sets sell for $10 US. 
I didn't bid on it because it was going through eBay's global shipping program. It would have been like $35 or something, right? It was $25 shipping or something. But someone who bought in the States, it was only like $5 shipping. And they could have got this for $15, which was an amazing deal. Moss, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Happy train coming. Nice. And we've done a reading on these as well, gang. You'll have a limited time to earn exclusive emotes. How does this work anyway sub sub gifts or use bits to get the next level nice fun what is that 62 percent what is that how does this work okay i want to avoid that okay we've done the readings for these right fantastic so there should be 36 cards in these as well again this had the card at the bottom of it now take a look number 36 is a little bit browner than the 35 but not that bad oliver north just turned 80 that's it wow i thought it was much much older much much older i can't believe he's still alive 36 35 34 33 32 31 30 you can see it here 29 look at that the color difference all right 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 very nice very nice very nice very nice very nice very nice so that's kudetta and then we got savings and loan scandal this is the second one we got at these, right? Nice cards. Well, we're gonna do a reading of all these, by the way, again. Again, it's got the leaf lit thing at the bottom of it. Oh, it's got two of them. Yeah, check it out. Even the leaflet, you see it, right? The bottom one, the one closer to you is more brown than the other one. And then there should be 36 cards. 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Very nice, very nice. Jumbo Junk Jubilee. Big Bang Buys junk bond king haha <laughs> michael milken drexel boram lambrant this will be amazing for an economic stream savings and loan scandal was huge 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 right we got one card from eclipse comics we didn't have before and i've been trying to get my hands on this it's not too expensive but with shipping if it's solo it goes for a lot friendly dictators trading card elder god check this out featuring 36 36 of america's most embarrassing allies right if you made this now Zelensky and netanyahu would be there as well right look at this that's the first card friendly dictators look at the first card oh my god elga says so this should have 36 cards as well who's the first guy america's allies the friendly dictators oh it's just a ghost thing so it's just who it's just uh what do you call it uh put your favorite dictator in there and then card number two maximilio hernandez martinez el salvador all right uh silver says do you keep your cars and card binders or, or in stacks and boxes i always uh found flipping through my own card binder and i say um most in boxes i have some in card binders but most in boxes this is eclipse comics these guys 
I'll show you. There it is. Eclipse Entertainment. They're bankrupt. Uh, Todd McFarlane bought them in the mid 1990s. Ah, oh, come on, focus. Boing. Let's see if it'll do it. Come on. It doesn't want. There it is. Eclipse Enterprises. Eclipse Enterprises. Vote for me, full Gincio Batista. Batista. Coupa. Oh God, when I go home, I'm reading my collection of cards to educate my family and friends. <laughs> nice. Rafael Leandez Trujillo. Dominican Republic. We'll have to read through these. Let me do a count again. Let me do a count. 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let me flip through these. Let's see the faces. Some of the ones that we know. Oh, my God. Look at this. Pinochet. Look at this clown. Look at this clown. Pinochet. Pinochet. Right. Noriega. Right. Craziness. Cheeky. Marcos, Marcos, look at this. Hawaii or bust. Talk about a shoe collection, eh? Talk about a shoe collection. Cancel the Shaw of Iran. Cancel. Brilliant. Every Iranian will appreciate this. Rizal Shah Pahlavi. Shah of Iran. Where is Saddam Hussein? Oh, whoa. Whoa. No way. Check this out. Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. Friendly dictators. Real fringe. Hello from Calgary. She chose Sir and Room. Salutations, fringe on Rumble. Adolf Hitler, Chancellor of Germany. Wow, I can't believe they don't have uh, Gaddafi and uh, Saddam Hussein in here. But maybe I, I skipped it. Maybe I skipped it. I'm feeling runny. Wow. Very cool, very cool. Very cool, very cool. Friendly dictators. Looks like you're cozy in your took. Yeah, yeah. Loving it. Austrian painter, Austrian painter. And of course, of course, rotten to the core trading cars, rotten to the core trading cars with the Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani rookie cards, right? And I got something to show you. Watch this. I was looking on eBay. I'm tracking stuff on eBay and check this out. I found out there's fake Trump rookie cards. That's a fake one. Okay. I'm going to show you the comparison between these. 
and we're gonna do we've done the reading for this card and there should be 36 cards and this has got the paper on the bottom too okay the Rudy Giuliani is a little bit darker a little bit darker not much right Ronnie Chicho is it just me or the liberals in Europe want to take freedom of speech away. oh yeah for sure no it's not just you uh when i join european streams on twitch these guys all don't want hitler mentioned really crazy no history no history for you no history for you craziness 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 haha <laughs> trump with black hair so i'm going to count the cards and i'm going to show you the difference between the fake card and the real card 36 35 34 33 32 31 30 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 21 uh 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and we're definitely going to be doing a reading of all these right let me bring out the donald trump card this chart card number 26 okay so card number 26 first of all oh this is a nice card oh yeah beautiful beautiful condition right first of all what i found out that there's fake cards around right the fake cards are supposed to be a little bit smaller than the regular cards and this is regular size because it's the same size as the rest right this is the donald trump card now take a look at the real card and the donald trump card right one thing you'll notice is the shading here is lighter than the the fake one okay it's dark this one you can make out the lines of the building right for the fake one you can't okay so if you're chasing these cards be careful make sure you're buying the real one okay and uh, the text on the back is nice and sharp fake ones most likely won't be nice and sharp okay and we've done the reading of this uh, but this one nice it's a nice card beautiful okay this makes it worthwhile uh, the the taxes being paid on it is insane right basically fifty dollars on a two hundred forty dollar buy that's 25 percent taxes or something like this i forget what it was i did the calculation 20 percent taxes taxes and fees but all in all happy with the buy it's a good buy seven cards uh we got the friendly dictators as well we got the donald trump card we got uh coup d'etat uh, assassination of jfk card right so all in all uh, i'm happy with the buy i wish i didn't have to pay the ridiculous taxes and fees on it but so goes uh canada right uh, so goes canada fun fun just look at it carefully yeah the planes new york trump the bush ones maybe right the bush ones maybe it's Real French, my husband Astro Sweet phoned me from work to let me know you were on. Thanks, Astro Sweet. Thanks, Astro Sweet. Your 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 uh, your partner sends uh, sends their love, Astro Sweet back. Oh, hi, wife. Real French. Awesome. 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 I hope there's no lives on the line when you're working, real French. <laughs> plutonic blurs hooray for astro suite hooray for astro suite fun 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 oh man the uh the battery on uh, our thing the recording thing is about to uh, die out and we're almost at the two hours we're almost at the two hours uh gang should we call the stream let's call the stream let's call the stream i'm gonna be here on the misty show i should have brought out the thing um what do you call it uh uh the graphic but i didn't unfortunately 
but if you go to where should I send you hold on I'm gonna bring this up I'm gonna provide a link to the info okay hold on a second hold on a second hold on a second hold on a second here we go here we go uh, here I'll, I'll send you a link to my tweet that I did okay here's a link to my tweet I'm gonna link it up on all all, all the platforms Boink. that will provide the info okay and I'm gonna link it up on rumble as well and I'm gonna link it up on sensor oops where am I Boink. and on sense not sensor to twitch as well there's a link to the tweet um, that will give you the info uh, for what we're gonna be doing uh, tomorrow I'll be on there at 2 p.m. my time 5 p.m. Eastern time and uh, Misty is amazing true warrior true warrior deep fake how are you doing true warrior right uh, love her a lot um, uh, absolutely speaks truth and she's been on the right side of history since I came across her and uh, she's a powerhouse huge respect to Misty and uh she contacted me and said hey chicho uh, you feel like being coming on my show and i said most definitely and we figured out a time and uh tomorrow worked and uh we set it up okay uh finger crossed everything works well uh we got backups as well so hopefully uh everything will go smoothly and uh, we'll have a little chit chat with misty and see where things are uh aside from that gang uh thank you for being here uh, I hope you enjoyed the content um, th there's amazing stuff going on and gang do not forget do not forget free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity something that we desperately desperately need in our societies for more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, where countless resources available on free speech platforms. Gang, these are the places that you can follow the work. We do have a Substack page as well. You're definitely welcome to join us on Substack. Uh, subscribe star as well. We're on Minds, we're on uh, VK, we're on Gab, we're on uh, Substack Notes. Uh, definitely. Uh, we've got a little community growing and sharing a lot of information uh, i hope you enjoy the rest of your week if you can make it to the misty show tomorrow i'll see you guys tomorrow uh, come with questions should be interesting conversation and gang salute to the mods thank you for being here taking care of business having our backs and making sure we have an amazing community that we can uh, share information salute gang i hope you enjoy your week Bye, everyone. Thank you, Elder God.